First of all, I'm doing a big fat thrift haul. The problem is <laughs> I left my camera, the camera that I usually film like sit down videos, my big DSLR, I left it at home. And then I went home, like I left it at home over winter break. I went home this past weekend and I still forgot it. And so originally I filmed this on my GoPro last week, but I'm like, it's okay. I could wait another week to film it. But now I, I deleted the footage and now I have to do it again. <laughs> I'm doing a big fat thrift haul. This is pretty much everything I've thrifted in January. I'm just gonna get started. Um, I went to a couple different thrift stores recently. If you saw my most recent video, I went to Up, Uptown Cheap Skate. Um, so that was the first, well, I'm going in backwards order. That's the first one I'm going to talk about. Um, I'm just first going to start off. This was the time that I went. I got this beautiful mesh top. If you, you saw it in the video, so there's not really much to say, especially if you saw that video. I'm assuming you did. Just got unicorns. Oh, I'm wrong. They are Pegasuses. It's from the brand Motel, and there's... Nothing else much to say about it. <laughs> so although I went to Uptown that time, I also went just like yesterday, I think. Um, I'm just gonna clip my microphone on. I think this will work. Yeah, it's picking up. So the first thing, so this is a sweater skirt. It's from the brand Moon and it's got daisies. They kind of look like eggs. It's honestly pretty cool. At first I was like, that's cool and unique, but like, mm. but then I tried it on and I'm like, this is so, so cute. And the daisies are made of like a terry, like they're embroidered on and it feels almost like a terry cloth. And this is going to be really fun for the spring. I'm throwing it. This I saw and I was like, this is like such a yeehaw thing. So of course I'm going to like it. This is just a vest from the brand Decree, and it looks like the tag almost looks like it's from like the 90s, sorry, probably the early 2000s. It's just like a Western looking vest like this. And like, at first I was like, oh, it's just a vest, like, but let me try it on as a top. And I did, and it looked amazing. So I'm gonna be wearing this as a top. It's very coyote ugly. These next pair of shorts I'm so, so happy about. They're like these, I don't know if Daisy Dukes is the right word. Don't exactly know what Daisy Dukes entails, but they're these denim shorts, but they have quite a stretch. They're from American Eagle and they have this, they have this floral blue pattern and it's really cute. At first, like I am not really a fan of floral prints just cause like, I feel like a lot of times they can get obnoxious, but simple ones like this, I think are really, really cute. And especially because, I don't know, they remind me, they're super high-waisted, but also like super short. And so they remind me of like the 50s. And for some reason, I think it's just cause I like, I just finished Marvelous Mrs. Maisel season three. I'm getting ready to throw these. <laughs> cause I need to wash those. So if you saw my come thrift with me at Uptown, you saw that I tried on this dress and I did get this dress. And I'm very happy. There's not much to it. I did mention how I have a dress kind of in a similar shape. And this one is quite big on me. It's a medium. At least the looks, that's what it looks like. The brand is Blair and it says www.blair.com. So it was in the vintage section, but it definitely seems like it's from like the early 2000s at the latest. It's a long dress. And it also kind of, I really like spring, okay? A lot of these things in this haul, you're gonna be like, oh my God, that's so spring, I don't know. Also kind of reminds me kind of like 50s housewife, especially when I tie it in the front and it's like super, super cinched. The last thing that I got from Uptown was this jacket I mentioned in the video. I talked a lot about it in the video, how 
I had pants in this pattern. It's just like this brown paisley. Yeah, kind of like a brown paisley. It's not really paisley though. Anyways, I think this is gonna be like a great layering piece. It's like a jacket, but it doesn't have pockets. It is quite thin. The brand is Briggs, which I don't really know. This should have been in the vintage section too, I feel like. Um, I don't know if that was the brand of the pants that I had. This brand just looks familiar. Over winter break, I actually got some video clips. I might insert them in. I'm still not really sure, but I got a lot of things. I was looking for pastel things, but I mainly only got pink and green at this place. It was so cute. Like one of the things that I got, it's this gap like tank top. I cropped all of these already. I might crop this one a little bit more, um, but I really cropped this like in the smallest way. What I really, really like about this is the back. There's just a seam going down the middle, which is so cool. I just think that's such a unique thing. Yeah, I really, really like this shape especially, and it just looks so cute. Um, there's a little makeup stain on this, but this is like a athletic kind of like top. <laughs> it's this like not neon green, not like a lime green, like, but it's, I don't know, it's a green. It's by the brand Tail. It doesn't actually say a size, I don't think so. But when I was at Uptown, I literally saw this tag on something else. So that's cool. It wasn't my size though. So the next thing, pink, it's this, what is the brand? One Way, definitely like a children's shirt because it's a large, but I feel like I've definitely seen this like lion embroidery logo at places but it's a t-shirt i don't really wear t-shirts but it's like gonna be fun fun it will be like something cute and easy to throw on this is very brandy melville i feel like not necessarily the embroider but the fit and everything um the next thing this one was like kind of a joke it's like this the brand is Susie in the city and it's like this like almost like early 2000s Bedazzled kind of, kind of like a tattoo thing. I don't know, butterflies on it. It's kind of funny, but like cute. So this is like a, like a very pastel. It's a turtleneck. The brand is White Stag. It reminds me a lot of like the Walmart turtlenecks. I don't remember the brand. Fits me just like that where it's like, it's super, super loose. I just think it's gonna be really cute. I've already worn it as like a layering piece under a sweater, but in the try-on clip, I have it on with just jeans and I just think it looks so cute. Oh, this one's inside out, I think. But it's like this cashmere green, like, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Anyways, but it's like this cashmere kind of neon green, but a little lighter than that. I thought this was really cute. I actually already wore this too. And I thought about cropping it, but I'm not sure. I kind of just like tucked it in. I also tried, since it's kind of like a cashmere, I'm like, let me just wash it and see if it shrinks, but it didn't at all. So maybe it was cause like, I, I maybe cause I washed with cold water. First thing are these jeans. I'm gonna show them on the hanger so you could see the bottom and how distressed they are. They reminded me of these jeans that I already have, um, like the fit and kind of the wash, but the jeans that I had, were kind of like an acid wash and I wasn't really a fan of that. So, oh my God, I just realized I left that light on. Anyways, um, yeah, I really, really love the fit of these. I was surprised how well they fit. I saw, but these are limited jeans. They're like this blueberry color, which I really love. Um, I actually had also another pair of jeans that were in this color. I didn't like the fit. So these are really, really great. I have not gotten around to wearing these yet. Last pair of jeans. I'm also gonna keep these on the hanger to show you the distress. So um, it looks like someone just like cut them on the sides because both sides kind of have that. But basically I was expecting them to kind of fit like that loose kind of. And so I thought they would fit like that. And then I was like, no, they're not really. And I wasn't gonna get them. And then I was like, you know what? I might as well, not that much. They're old navy jeans. They are a 28. So it's just a bit big on the waist, but not like 
massively big. Um, I have noticed, I wish I like washed these again for the try on clip because um, when I did have them on, they did fit quite decently. They do stretch after a while and they're pretty loose. I also forgot to mention that I got these like white baseball pants, I guess. That's pretty much it. They're really comfortable. These pants, I need to get these dry cleaned, are Ann Taylor, I believe. Yes, Ann Taylor. Like pink gingham pants, I thought they were so cute. At this thrift store, they don't have fitting rooms. So I was just kind of picking stuff up and I was getting a lot. And I was like, these are, it says they're a size six. And I was like, they might fit a bit oversized. So I thought these wouldn't be any problem. Um, I haven't worn them yet because I need to get them dry cleaned. Oh God, I'm gonna sneeze. Yeah, pink gingham pants. I got a lot of dresses at this thrift store. Um, a lot of like slip dresses and like nightgown dresses because I do really like that style. This one was the one that you saw hanging up. It's literally just a moo moo. I've been wanting one for a while. I actually had a come thrift with me over the summer where I tried one on, but I'm like, how do I get this to work? Right now, I don't have any plans on changing it how it is. I haven't worn it out. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Got these cute little embroidered things. It's like pink and white stripes. It's not gingham, but it's like this material. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, this next one in the try on, you could see that I tried this on with a white t-shirt under because the straps are a bit too long and they're not adjustable. Um, but it's just this yellow slip dress. It's really, really simple. As I said, I was looking for a lot of pastels and I did find a lot of pastels. Um, but yellow is just like not really a color that I wear, have a lot of. I'm looking in my closet, I don't, <laughs> just to confirm. But I thought this would be really, really cute and fun for spring. This is probably like my favorite dress out of all the dresses that I got. It's this black paisley, very early 2000s, actually more 90s probably. It's like kind of this skater cut skirt but it is so cute. This literally fits me so perfectly. It could just be the like stretchy kind of nylon-ish material. That's why it literally looks like, feels like it was made for me. This is just so gorgeous. And I want to wear it, but I'm like waiting for the right day. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. So this dress is also another slip dress. Um, it has adjustable straps. It's this beautiful like baby pink color. It has this cute ruffling on the sleeves and my favorite part is at the bottom um, there's like a slit with a cute little bow and ruffles so yeah but it's just really cute it can be as I said dressed up or just down so I don't know what I mean by that but yeah this could be like the last item in this haul oh my goodness I have been looking for an item like this for a very long time but i told myself i'm not going to buy this at a department store or like any store i want to get this at a thrift store because i know i could find a good one and i was like waiting to go to this specific thrift store because i knew they would have a lot this is a leather jacket and i feel like i hyped this up too much but this is like it's the softest leather ever. I'm pretty sure it's real leather. I actually never check. But it is secondhand, so it's not like bad. That's how I always saw it. Some people don't, but it's okay. Um, so I said I was looking for a leather jacket for a really long time, but I felt like a lot of the times when you went to the store to, and you saw leather jackets, they were like that moto style or they had like a bunch of patches on them and everything. And I just was not a fan of that. I specifically wanted like an oversized leather jacket, kind of like Nancy's in the craft, kind of like the one that my mom had when I was younger. And I was looking through the jackets and I pulled this out and I was like, this is incredible. It's like that boyfriend cut. Um, I was actually watching like two days after getting this, a YouTube video about trends for 2020. And one of them was that boyfriend cut, blazer boyfriend cut leather jacket and I was like wait I never even realized that this is like a trend that's happening but 
I'm so happy that I found this. I've been wearing it like crazy. Anyways, so this probably was a very lengthy video of everything I thrifted in January. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked this video. I've been like decently consistent with my postings, which um, you all should be proud about. Also, I just wanted to thank all the people who recently subscribed to me. I had like less than 100, under 100 subscribers a few months ago, but thanks to my following on TikTok. Thank you, TikTok supporters. Um, I've actually, I have almost 150, which is so cool. I never really thought that would uh, happen. That's cool. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media, which will be linked, linked in the description. Um, that's it. Yeah. <laughs>